This is a tutorial on solving systems of linear equations algebraically. Now just a reminder, a system of linear equations is when we have two or more linear equations grouped together. Now for this specific tutorial, we're only going to work with systems of two linear equations. Now what it means to solve a linear system is that we need to take the equations within the system and see if they have any points that share the same input and corresponding output values. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at two specific methods on how we could solve linear systems algebraically. Now let's start off by taking a look at a couple of examples for what is known as the substitution method. So let's go to example one. So here we have our system of two linear equations, y equals x plus 7, and y equals negative x plus 3. Now the idea with using the substitution method is that we want to first isolate one of our variables, whether it be x or y, it doesn't matter. But after we've done that, we want to take the expression that is equivalent to that isolated variable and plug it in to the variable in the other equation. So let's try that with example 1. So if you notice, we already have a variable that's isolated. That's our y. So we know that y is equivalent to x plus 7. So what we could do is we could take that expression of x plus 7 and plug it in for y in our second equation. So let's do that. So we have y, which is the same thing as x plus 7, equal to the negative x plus 3. And now, as you can see, we only have one variable we're working with now. So we just need to isolate that variable. So let's take this negative x and move it over to the other side with the other x. So to do that, we'll add x to both sides. It'll cancel out on the right. And that leaves us with 2x plus 7 equals a positive 3. Now to isolate our x, we need to get rid of the plus 7 first. So we'll subtract it from both sides. Now we're left with 2x equals 3 minus 7, which is a negative 4. And now to isolate x, we just need to divide by 2. Now that leaves us with x equaling a negative 4 divided by 2, which gives us a value of negative 2. So now we've solved for one variable algebraically, so we know that x will equal negative 2 as part of our solution. Now what we could do is we could plug this into either equation in our system. It doesn't matter which one, because they should give us the same y value. So let's just plug it into equation 1. So we have y equals x, which for us is negative 2, and then plus 7. Well, if we take negative 2 plus 7, we get a y value of 5. So that's what our y value would be for the solution as well. Now, just to make sure, we could plug this negative 2 into the second equation and see if we get the same y value. So let's just do that real quick. So we have y equals a negative x, where our x is negative 2, and then plus 3. Well, a negative negative 2 is a double negative, and I'll change it to be a positive 2, and then plus 3. Well, 2 plus 3 does give us a y value of 5. So we know that our solution is correct. So for this particular system of linear equations, the solution would be when x is negative 2 and y is 5. Now we can also express that solution as an ordered pair if we'd like. So we could say x is negative 2 and y is 5. So that's another way we could express our solution. Now let's take a look at another example of using the substitution method. Now here with example 2, our system is 2x plus y equals 5 and y minus x equals 2. Now here we don't have a variable already isolated for us, so we need to do that ourselves. So let's just try isolating the x this time. And let's try doing that with the second equation. So we have 
y minus x equals 2. If we want to isolate the x, we could just move the y to the other side. So we'll subtract y. And that leaves us with a negative x equals 2 minus y. So now to completely isolate our x, we need to get rid of the negative. So what we could do is we can multiply both sides by a negative 1 to change the sign. So when we do that, our negative x will become a positive x, and then our positive 2 will become a negative 2, and then the negative y will become a positive y. So now we know that x is equivalent to negative 2 plus y. Now it's important that when we substitute this in for an x value, that we don't substitute it into the equation that it came from. So we don't want to put it into the second equation. So that's how we got it. We need to plug it into the first equation instead. So if negative 2 plus y is equal to x, we can just plug that in for the x value in equation 1. So we'll have 2 times our x value, which is negative 2 plus y, and then plus y equals 5. So now we need to simplify. So first we need to distribute this 2 to the negative 2 and the positive y. So 2 times the negative 2 will give us a negative 4. And then 2 times y will give us a positive 2y. And then we just bring the rest. We still have this plus y here equals 5. So now let's simplify some more. So we have a negative 4 and then a plus 2y plus y. Well, a positive 2y plus another y will give us a positive 3y. And it's still going to equal 5. Now, if we want to isolate our y variable, we need to first get rid of the negative 4. So we could add 4 to both sides. And that leaves us with 3y equals a 5 plus 4, which is 9. And now to isolate y, we just need to get rid of the 3 by dividing it. So that leaves us with our y value being 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So now that we have the y value to our solution, we could plug that into either the first or second equation. It doesn't matter. Now for us, it looks like the second equation might be the easiest to work with. So let's plug it into the second equation. So if y is 3, then we'll have 3 for y, and then minus x equals 2. Well, to isolate our x variable, we could get rid of this 3, so we could subtract 3 from both sides. And that leaves us with a negative x equals 2 minus 3, which simplifies to be a negative 1. Now, we still need to get rid of this negative in front of the x. So we could just change the signs on both sides of the equation. So our negative x will become a positive x, and our negative 1 will become a positive 1. So our solution for this particular system will be when x is 1 and y is 3. And again, if you want to, you could express that as an ordered pair. So we'll have the ordered pair 1, 3. Now for this section of the tutorial, we're going to learn how to solve linear systems algebraically using what is known as the elimination method. So let's take a look at the first example. So here, in example 3, we have our linear system x plus 2y equals 7 and 3x minus 2y equals negative 11. Now the idea with the elimination method is that we want to take the two equations and add them together in hopes that one of the variables will cancel out during that addition process. Now for example, if you look at our two equations, if we added them together, it looks like our y variable would cancel out, leaving us with only the x variable to solve for. Now let's actually do that. 
let's add the two equations together. So we have x plus 2y equals 7, and then we have 3x minus 2y equals negative 11. Now when we add these together, we're going to add all the like terms together. So here on the left side of the equation, we have an x plus a 3x, which will give us a 4x. Now also on the left side, we have a 2y minus a 2y, which 2y minus a 2y will cancel and leave us with just 0. Now we don't need to write that. But here on the right side, we have a 7 plus a negative 11, which is like doing 7 minus 11. So that gives us a value of negative 4. So now we're left with 4x equals a negative 4. Now if we want to isolate our x from there, we just need to get rid of the 4 by dividing it. So when we do that, we get x equaling a negative 4 divided by 4, which will ultimately simplify to be a negative 1, because negative 4 divided by a positive 4 is a negative 1. So now we know the x value to our solution for this particular system. Now all that's left to do is we just need to plug it into either equation 1 or equation 2 to find out what our y value is. So let's just plug it into equation 1. So our top equation here we have x, where our x value is negative 1, plus 2y equals 7. Now to isolate y, let's first get rid of the negative 1 by adding 1 to both sides. So that leaves us with 2y equaling a 7 plus 1, which is 8. And now to solve for y, we just need to divide the 2 to both sides. And that leaves us with y equals 8 over 2, which simplifies to be 4. So for this particular system, we have a solution where x is negative 1 and y is 4. And again, if you want to, you could write that as an ordered pair. So our solution would be negative 1, 4.